and happiness and joy and peacefulness better than by hearing me say these words. So. 
you can write to Andrew and ask him if he would be interested in continuing that storyline, like a, a prequel sort of thing. Well, you're seeing me cry, so I mean, really? with, the, with the baby, and I just... Aww. Aww. It's so sweet. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Nick's, Nick had a terrible. You want to see that tragedy? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Where do we go with that? I just want to see more of you, honestly, because you're like my favorite actress. Oh, uh, you're very sweet. Thank you. Aww. Well, I'll, I'll ask Andrew if he'll do that. Okay. What's your name again? Megan. Megan. I was awesome. here last year, actually, in Jacksonville, uh -huh. and I asked the first question there. Oh. Okay. So, about the, you know, what they did in the cage and everything? Yes. <laughs> I can't answer questions like that anymore because I get in a lot of trouble. I have you on video saying that. In San Francisco, I got in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. I love you too. I'm going to say Andrew, Megan, in Orlando. I want to know if you'll do a, a story with Nick as the main character. Yeah. He'll say, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we need to see the boys. Where would the boys be at that? You gotta have the boys. Yeah. Right? They can be telling the story. They're on vacation. <laughs> you can't go on vacation when you're a hunter. There is no vacation. Right? Right. Okay. That's what I mean. I haven't seen season 12 yet, so I don't know if they had a vacation in season 12. I know, right? I'm four episodes in. I've seen the other Lucifer. Some people are like, yeah! Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. What's up? That's a cute, I've never seen a cast outfit like that. It's Sam! It's cute! Oh, look at that, did you make that? No, it was a gift from a friend. Her name's Kathy, she's somewhere. Good job, Kathy! <laughs> Where are you? Hi. Oh, you're just waving like this, I'm hot. <laughs> Go ahead. She was wondering about Nick, but I was wondering if you think Lucifer's ever going to show up on Wayward Daughters. Ooh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good or bad? Or... <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, was it good? Did you like it? <laughs> yeah, man. This is the century of the woman, so let's... Uh, I hope so. That would be great. They're, they're powerful ladies, right? It would be uh, an interesting matchup. How do you think Lucifer would fare? No. <laughs> Come on, give him a break. Does he ever win? That's what I want. No. Um, I think that he would be a challenge for Jody and Donna, but at some point I think Donna might break out the flamethrower and then he might be in trouble. She has a flamethrower? <laughs> Two flamethrowers? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna ask a question that may divide the fandom right now. Oh, no. But oh, I no. like to do that. <laughs> so here it goes. Who's used to heat? Who's better? Uh -oh. The boys and the girls. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Who's tougher? Let me see a show, a show of hands. <laughs> Who thinks the girls kick ass over the boys? Raise your hand. Amen! No fair streaming. <laughs> Who thinks the boys are indestructibly cool and the bad side? Believe it or not, it looks like it's about even. <laughs> so I think we should wrestle. Sebastian O'Shea got it. Huh? Cage match. Cage match. <laughs> two flamethrowers. What do you need two flamethrowers? Are there different types of flamethrowers? Huh? Does Jody have any special 
um, weapons? Police baton. A police baton. <laughs> she got the sword into the stick there, didn't she? Huh? She's bad. She doesn't need no flamethrower. She has her fists. She's got this. Hey, Lucifer, meet my knuckle sandwich. What's up? Hi. How are you? First of all, you were an answer on Jeopardy Wednesday night. Torturing Sam better or torturing They said that on Jeopardy? <laughs> Alex Trebek is a fan! The, the question on Jeopardy was Loves loves torturing Sam and Dean on this popular <laughs> CW show. <laughs> it was Mark Pellegrino in Supernatural. No, they, Correct. No, they, they had your picture up there. Was it a good picture? It was. Okay. All your pictures are good pictures. Uh, disagree, but thank you. And it said, um, who, Mark Pellegrino pe plays the devil on this long-running CW series. Woo! So random. What was supernatural? Now, what was the category? Devils and TV. You hear that, Tom Ellis? <laughs> and you're the best devil on TV. And hey! Did you like filming the scenes better, torturing Sam or torturing Crowley, and why? Oh! oh. <laughs> Sam you were awesome in both of them, though. Thank you. Aww. Well, Jerry is fun to torture. Because <laughs> he's very expressive. And uh, it's easy to watch the pain. But I have to say that um, doing my scenes with uh, with Mark were were really fun. That's, that, I haven't seen it yet because I haven't seen season twelve yet. But working on those scenes were the best experience I feel like I had. I mean, we just had fun. Um, yeah, we, we had a really good time filming that stuff. And maybe, what does that say about me? Personally, a lot. I, enjoy, I enjoy playing with people. It means you're fabulous. Uh, only the supernatural fandom can say, we like torture. We like Lucifer. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. Because we played. I like playing when I work. I don't... I don't like sticking to any one way of doing something, you know? So it's, watching an episode is always a bit scary for me because I never know what take they're going to stick with, you know? Because I, I try to do things a bunch of different ways to feel my way through what, what works and what doesn't. So uh, we got to do a lot of great things together. I, and I'm glad you liked it. You great, you thank you. It. I'll Good. see you at your photo op. Okay. <laughs> Shepard. Hello, boys. No. Hey. What's up? Um, my question is, when kids my age that watch the show and notice you, are they scared of you? Are you scared of me? <laughs> Generally, they're not scared of me. Just like you. Aww. You're very sweet. <laughs> the show is scary, though, isn't it? Really? Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> awesome. No, because I'm because I'm a fairly nice person. <laughs> In real life. Are you sure? Unless you argue with me on Twitter. <laughs> so don't argue with me on Twitter, okay? Okay. You're very sweet. Thank you. 
Bye, dear. Oh. What? I can't what? Go that. What? I can't go that. You're just standing there like this. What am I doing? <laughs> hey, gorgeous. Um, <laughs> so embarrassed. What uh, book are you currently reading, or who are you currently reading? Oh, what is your yes, latest? literary thing that you're exploring. Boy. Or are you writing something? You're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm taking a philosophy class right now. Woo! Woo! Really? Yes! Philosophy! You're, you're taking it, not teaching it? I'm taking it. Okay. Because I am not a philosopher, I'm an actor. <laughs> who, but I'm who pretends to be a philosopher from time to time. <laughs> when it suits me. <laughs> um, so I just had to go through the torture of reading Hume. Uh, Hobbes. Uh, uh, right? Yeah. Dismal. Yeah. Dismal. Um, but uh, what am I reading now? I'm finishing up the Iliad. Wow. Yes. Okay. The latest, the latest translation? Or... It seems pretty contemporary. But <laughs> <laughs> translation by Professor Zolenzo? <laughs> Recently did it. Really? Really? Yeah. Ooh. It like just came out. I don't know. It's, 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 she has quite a different take on it. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, how? Odysseus is complicated. The word she came up with in the translation was complicated. And he is complicated. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I'm not reading the Odyssey yet, just the Iliad, so. Ulysses is a piece of that, but um, what else am I reading? What else am I reading? Um, God, I read like 10, 10 books at the same time and having a senior moment with, uh, with, the, with some of the titles right now. There's, there's, a, there's a really great Swedish author. Um, huh? Frederick? Uh, uh, forgetting his name. Um, no, I started reading something from him because my wife recommended it, and I do everything she recommends. <laughs> right? Yes. yes. Gotta keep the peace. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You think I'm tough? <laughs> um, uh, what am I reading? What am I reading? Anything. I'm reading, I'm reading a book from the Great Courses on Philosophy, so it's just sort of a over what over. Review of pretty much all of Western thought. Um, um, the tons of what's that? Anything fun? I should have brought my Kindle here. <laughs> I mean, anything fun? That's fun. No, I mean. Not joking. I, I, I read a lot of po uh, politics stuff, a lot of uh, economics. So. Um, you know, Fire and fury. No. Why? Should I read that? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. Why? Because he wanted it banned. Why not? Exactly. Who wanted what banned? What am I missing? Uh, Trump. Trump. Fire I don't pay attention to Trump anymore. Are you guys paying attention to him? Woo! It's just no. everything he does and says goes in one year and out the other. Yeah. So he wanted some. He wanted a book banned. Yeah. Okay, now I do have to read it. Okay. All right. Um, so let me get back to you on that. So I'll get my Kindle out and go through all the all the things I'm reading. I like to read. You guys like to read? Yeah. But I like to read economics. Yes. Which one? I'm a I'm a Mises fan. Okay. You're like okay later. <laughs> I also like George Reisman. Woo! You like George Reisman? Yes. People are like, well, come on, let's talk about Supernatural. I'm gonna hear Supernatural. Don't talk about economics. <laughs> What's Lucifer reading? <laughs> Lucifer reading would Dante's be Inferno. the biography of Mr. Donald Trump. I mean, I know I, I founded a political party and I should be up on the current events, but I've just tuned it out. I've tuned it out. I can't take anymore. Right? Yeah. 
It's all, I feel like I'm in a middle school gym. Woo! In a towel fight. <laughs> Nude. <laughs> it's just, it's not fun. Uh, so, what has been the most challenging scene you've had to shoot in Supernatural? Most challenging? <laughs> I, I still think the most challenging scene I ever had to shoot was the one where Jared farted before the tape. <laughs> and I had to do the entire scene in a fart cloud. That's, I'm, I'm sad to say that's the one. Yeah. Thanks. That is the answer. Um, you know the scene where I, I, uh, I breathe on the glass and I do the thing? So now you can look at that scene. And you know what's going on. You know why I have that expression on my face. You know why my skin is breaking out even. So I'm really ugly on film, semi <laughs> ugly in person. Yes! You know, like, yes. I was like, he's not gonna hear it. But my question is who on the show uh, of the females do you think would be a good romantic match for Lucy? So You say Abaddon? Abaddon. Sam! Joey! Sam! They're all awesome. But they're... There's a character. Yes. It's a, <laughs> coming around. Mary. 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 Is that a spoiler? <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, not Daniel. Wait, what? <laughs> Guys. So, I think there is a, a possible character coming that will open Lucifer's heart. What? Is it heart? Sam? Lucifer. Oh, people went, oh. Did I hear oh? Yes. Did I hear a groan? Yes. Because you don't want this to have a heart, do you? You don't, have one. you don't want him to be vulnerable, do you? No. You don't want him to be like a, 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 a chocolate chip cookie hard on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside, do you? <laughs> well, maybe he is. I'm just saying. Maybe he is a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Yes, 
Yes. Hello. I'm right. just wondering what do you think it's going to be like when Jack and you finally get together and we, because I know it's going to have to happen, when you guys get broken out of the cage, you guys, you and Catherine and Jack will probably be the one to help you guys escape. I'm really nervous about that dating. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? I think maybe that's your way to see your gooey heart come out. You think? <laughs> you think Lucifer actually has a feeling for his son? Possibly. Really? Maybe. To, to manipulate him, probably. <laughs> so it's not because he's his son and not because he that feels come too. He can do stuff for him. In the last second, you might be the reason to save everything when Michael, even Michael comes from the alternate world also, to help him save it. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> You've thought about this a little bit. <laughs> I have to say, you're wrong. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally um, hope that Lucifer has real sentiments for his son, given where he's come from, right? I, I mean, having been an orphan myself in a way, abandoned by my father in real life, it made me feel like he laughed. I don't know, I'm serious, I'm not joking. This is the serious part of the conversation. Right here, serious. Um, so I, I understand what kind of yearning that would create in someone who's becoming a father. To, to not want to repeat the sins of their own upbringing. Um, and that's a real human thing. But Lucifer's not human, is he? We love but, you. Oh. <laughs> um, but I do hope that he's animated by a little bit of something like that. It complicates the situation for sure. And uh, I have no idea what's going to happen when that meeting actually does occur. But it seems like he's Jack has turned, right? He's indeed the good, good guy. Yeah. 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 Slowly. It's the, the nature nurture argument. I like that <laughs> argument, by the way. He's being nurtured into. Not being an evil son of a... <laughs> <laughs> like his dad. Mm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> How are you? Hi, I'm good. good. Um, I wanted to know if you think that Lucifer feels he's the hero in the story, or if he knows that he's a villain. Ooh. No, he's the hero. <laughs> I mean, as an actor, I think you always have to play the hero, don't you? Right? Oh. Tell me if I'm wrong. Oh. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> You're wrong. Tell me why. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think that you know in life most people don't know they're bad. Yeah. Right? They they're just trying to get what they want. Whoa. And uh, and they and they keep themselves into thinking they're actually doing the right things or the good things by them, right? Some of the most horrible things in the world have been done for good. the good. If you only knew it was good, this is for your own good. Um, so everybody thinks they're, they're the hero of their own story, and I think that includes uh, Lucifer. Although... He seems to know. He has a little bit of an introspective capacity. I think he, he, he knows how people see him. And um, he knows his place in, in the world, universe. So I think there's definitely a part of him that understands other people's perspective about him. But he's, he's achieving something good. And I'll, I'll stick to that no matter what anybody says. Thank you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, Lucifer. What's up? Hey man, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, uh, a little nervous. Uh, I got a question. Why? Because you're Lucifer. Unlike other actors who might say, no, my I'm not Tully Green, I'll say, yeah, I'm Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> I got a quick question for you. Yeah. Uh, it's very, in my opinion, it's simple. When you go to start, you know, playing Lucifer in the past, how did you get into character? What was your go-to thing? Well, um, my, my wife sort of hates the run-up to every episode. 
because um, I start torturing her. <laughs> Not deliberately. I just start playing with her and playing with anybody who happens to be around me. <clears throat> and I feel like that's sort of a characteristic of, of Lucifer um, that has permeated every sort of iteration of him, right? Because he's had a few different right. morphs, don't you think? Yeah. I was looking back at season five a while back, and like, that, that, I don't recognize that Lucifer anymore. He was so uh, scary. <laughs> he's, he's, he still has scary now, but it's, it's more impish and, um, and, and fun, always one eye sort of smiling at, at, at what's going on. So I, I bring out the inner, um, what, was, what was Gabriel's character? Trickster. I bring out the inner Woo! trickster um, and get that a habit in me, and then I just play the game the chess game, whatever chess game they put me in. And that's my preparation. Thank you, I appreciate it. Sure. He's like, that's not the answer I was expecting. <laughs> I thought you'd break out a Ouija board, and that, there would be a Alistair Crowley's, you know, devil bible or something there. You know, call down Lucifer. Call down Lucifer. <laughs> What's up? Hi, my name is Spencer. I just have a quick question. Uh, first of all, hail Satan, everyone. Uh, building on the question about Jack and Lucifer, um, do you think, can you comment on the inevitable episode where you guys take a road trip, take the car, and then walk past the back? Take what? You steal the car from the boys, lock cast in the back. Are you, are you write fan fiction? Not yet. <laughs> We steal the car from the boys. Now that's funny. We got Lock Cass in the back and show who the real dad is. Lock Cass in the back. <laughs> Cass would be like, guys, let me out of here. <laughs> I love it. I hope it is. I would have so much fun. <laughs> yes. uh, what? <laughs> Sit on the trunk, have beers. Somebody. Can I have a beer? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, sure.
So some location scout found the one spot in the entirety of Canada that's like a, a bunch of dunes, rocks, and nothingness. How do they do that? It's crazy. Did I answer your question? Yeah, you did. Thank okay. you. What's up? Uh, uh, <laughs> how does Lucifer feel about the new Lucifer TV? <laughs> how does Lucifer feel about what? The new Lucifer TV show. The new Lucifer TV show? <laughs> There's a Lucifer TV show? Who? <laughs> Is he, is he American? Yeah. He's British. Oh, he's British. <laughs> That's not cliche. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure it's good. Is it good? <laughs> high five. High five. Come on, high five. Thank you. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure he's good. I, I do want to see that. I just haven't had time. I gotta catch up on Supernatural. <laughs> Plus, there's so much TV out there. I've been I've been trying to catch up on all the Netflix stuff. Just finished watching Punisher. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah. yeah, I'm friends with Johnny. I'm glad uh, glad you got that part. He really is a tough tough guy too in real life. We used to box at the same uh, same gym. He's a good dude. Yeah. 164 right now. 164? Yeah. <laughs> Mine's in 61. Yeah, first, I just want to say, you're so much hotter person. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> so embarrassed. Okay, so I want to ask, has anybody ever, like, targeted you? Spoilers for, like, killing cats or something? They're like, oh, you killed cats. Like in the street? Oh yeah. Oh, I get a lot of that. I get a lot of hate. It's okay. I mean, you can't love if, if you don't hate, right? They know what they like, they know what they don't like. I know what I like. And I don't like them. Um, yeah, I get that. I got people who, um, who hated me because of that because I killed cats, but I warned them in advance, and I wasn't joking that time. I said, if you hate me, you're gonna hate me worse. And I didn't tell them why, I just threw that out there and ruffled their feathers and made them upset. And then when Cass died, of course. You were so attractive, oh my god. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I also get it for Crowley, too. Just recently, um, this, this convention that we're, Crowley and I are both going to, Mark Shepard and I are both going to, in England, <laughs> tweeted, tweeted something like, who should be the king of hell? And it's got, you know, Elena and me and Mark, and, uh, and people are like, Shepard, 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 anyone but Mark, Shepard, <laughs> And I'm like, Twitter handles. <laughs> So, um, people are mad at, at me for Mark killing himself. <laughs> I didn't do it! When I did it, he went into a rat, and then he did it himself. I didn't do it! I didn't kill Crowley! I may have wanted to kill Crowley, but I didn't kill him. What's that? Hi. I'm Cass. Hey, are you? Yeah. Really? Cass, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm Mark. <laughs> so, I'm sitting in the front row and I couldn't help but notice you have doodles all over your jeans. Is that just something you do when you're bored? Or? Like, I was eating all over your jeans. And I didn't want to be super creepy trying to figure out what all of it was, so I just thought I'd come ask you. <laughs> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> 
the, the short answer to that is I do not do long my jeans anymore. <laughs> Different things on the show. The show's a challenge, right? I mean, 
How many different characters has each of those guys played? I think the only one who's just been himself, well, I guess he had some changes, was Crowley, I mean, but everybody else has had to morph and change and become something way outside of who they are, right? So, yeah, I love working with the boys. I'd like to do more work with, you know, Jensen and, and Jay Rudin. <laughs> Thank you. Who do you guys like? Did you guys like Metatron? Yeah! Uh, he was a worthy adversary because he was smart. He's a little sleazy. A little wrong, but kind of cool. What's up? Hi. Um, so I was wondering, since Lucifer now has his new GitHub son, Jack, what is Lucifer's favorite dad joke? <laughs> dad joke? Yes. I feel really bad that Lucifer doesn't have a dad joke. Can you give him a, a dad joke? Yes? You just asked me one. That made me feel really bad that I didn't have a dad joke. Because now when I meet Jack, I want to have a dad joke. <laughs> I swear to you, I'm going to put a dad joke in the It may be in the outtakes. It may not make it to the final cut. But I'm doing a dad joke now, because that's what a good dad does. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to figure that one out. Thank you. Dad? That's like, hey, speak of the devil, do you have a... Do you have a dad joke for me? A dad joke? Yes. This guy's got a dad yeah, joke. Yeah, but he's, you're his dad. I, I know. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, it's my other son, by the way. There is no other son. Oh, here we go. Just I walked into this one. Okay. Anyway, and that was his response before. So, welcome to the God Thanksgiving dinner. Right.